My name is Garrett Benish, and my project is Some Waste. It's a pen and ink made from digested sewage. Some Waste is a project that's based on getting people to reconsider uh, what we call waste in the first place. Both the things we use now uh, that are actually wasteful that we think aren't, and also the things we don't use that we call waste that are very useful. So the way that I framed that is by taking digested sewage, which right now, just in New York City, uh, we landfill three million pounds of it a day. It's about the weight of 100 school buses every day. Um, and using it as a design material. So it turns out that you can, there's a couple things you can do with it. The two that I specified is feeding it to a bacteria that makes a bioplastic. And then I actually took the digested sewage myself and carbonized it into like a charcoal um, and made that into a pigment for ink. And so it's a pen and ink that you uh, can write with and use that's made from digested sewage. And the point of that object of that application is that pens are sort of intimate with us, but we don't realize it. So you write on your hand with notes and you chew on your pen and you hold your hair up. And so the idea is that if you're using this pen and you know that it's made of digested sewage or biosolids as we call it, that you'll be writing with it and you'll sort of put it in your mouth while you're thinking about something and you realize, oh my God, that's sewage. And you're like, oh, that's okay. So it'll, ease, it'll open the door to be able to make forks and spoons and disposable food containers um, and things that have a larger effect. So I call it a gateway product. The pen itself is made of two parts and each of them are two different nutrients. So the uh, bioplastic called PHA, that's made by feeding sewage to bacteria, that's the barrel of the pen and it's fully compostable. It can compost in soil in just 60 days. And then the refill is fully technical, so it's polypropylene plastic. Uh, brass and tungsten carbide. So the user puts those two pieces together and they know that you can separate it. So it also teaches design for disassembly and material separation. So this one goes to compost, this one goes to recycling, and they can both be reclaimed fully. Um, and so that makes it highly sustainable and it also engages the user in having a sense of ownership over their products. The future of some waste is to actually turn the whole uh, methodology into some studio and for some waste to be one umbrella branch of the research so if we're looking at waste material it'll be some waste if we're looking at seawater rise it'll be some water if we're looking at population density it'll be some population um, and so the goal is for some studio to be a research design firm that can help uh, translate these concepts into material artifacts that sometimes have solutions sometimes just embody where we are now what is the sum of our existence.